microchip. Yeah, we're scanning to see if there's a microchip in here. We have uh, found them on a few orders from Red Roof. People uh, have to come back to claim them. This is Dog Rescue TV. Come, sit, subscribe, and stay a while. I can't speak to exactly why another rescue is doing what they do, but when you look at a situation like that, um, the puppies are more vulnerable, so you want to get the puppies out of that situation, but if you don't get the, the, the breeding pair, you're not solving them. The problem hasn't been solved. You're going to be dealing with another litter and another litter and another litter. Maybe that's what you want to be doing as a, as a rescue if you're, if you're using it as a leverage point to raise money. You know, if that's the case, then, then your motivations are wrong. I mean, these, these puppies are at risk just from the, the fact that they have parents that, you know, especially a mother dog that, you know, is not being cared for herself and doesn't have good nutrition, you know, and medical attention. You know, so you, the next litter of puppies is at risk, and that's, that's not humane. You know, if you, a lot of times it's hard to catch the mom. Now, the puppies aren't very mobile, so you can get the puppies, but you can't get the, the mama dog because, you know, she, you know, they jump fences a lot quicker than we do a lot of times. Yeah. But, um, you know, if you could get if you could get the female dog, you're doing everybody a service, especially if those puppies are really, really young because they need to be with their mom. Yeah. It's part of the whole socialization thing, and by, that's how they learn to be dogs. And they do that by being with their mom. And to, to separate them for no reason, that that's inhumane and it makes for puppies that, you know, are going to grow up and not necessarily be temperamentally sound animals. Well, along those same lines in terms of, again, you know, types of things that we've been noticing some rescues doing out in the field, um, another one we see is a lot of um, homes and buildings that are like a big mouse trap. There's a lot of food being put out to draw those animals in. Is that something that should be done? Well, the thing that, to remember is those animals that are being drawn in aren't necessarily feral pack dogs or whatever you want to call them out on the street. They may be people's dogs. You know, they may be dogs that got out of a backyard and have been running loose for a couple of weeks. Or should have done something at 426 dump. They may be dogs that somebody is still looking for. We're required to, to hold those dogs. Sir, can you go get one, please? Those dogs are strays. We're 10 -7 -7. State law says that they have to be held as strays. I think you're beat. Is that bad? Um, two dogs. One is supposed to be down. You want to do batteries real quick? One is supposed to be skinny and down in the back.
like she she is really good. Really you know, so um, it can have to be the diet that she's eating. Do you feed them separate or do you think you get home to the food or how does that work? I separate them when they eat, yeah. Okay, and is she eating? Yeah, she's eating. What kind of food do you feed? take the dog or you can take the dog in the house either way. Okay, why not? You know what the plan has to be to get her back to where she needs to be. So go on and have a conversation as to what you want to do one way or the other, okay? Okay. And then if you're going to keep her, then she just got to go in the house. Okay. Dog. Uh, but she's cared for it. He is in a wheelchair. She's going to go in and have a conversation about whether or not they're going to keep the dog or bring the dog in. I kind of want to do what she needs to do. All right. The dog. So we're just going to hang out for a minute. Hang out for a minute. Right. Yeah, dog can't stay how it is. Well, it sounds like she's feeding him, but just feeding him poor quality food. And probably not enough. Because yeah, he's dog, doing yeah. the. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, the other dog is better. Yeah. He's got that head down doing yeah. that. That's not good. And what's that a sign of? That he's just not doing good. <laughs> you know, I, he, that dog needs to have something changed today before we leave. And she's a, a reasonable person who understands what's required. You know, I went through what's required to keep the dog. You know, the dog's going to have to go in the house. It's going to have to have more fat in its diet. And it's going to require a lot of small meals and all these things and 
she's really they got her hands full and making a decision about whether or not she's able to do that. You know, a lot of dogs can do okay on uh, average dog food. Pipples and, and short-haired dogs, they need a higher fat content in the wintertime. And a lot of people buy certain types of dog food. Even named brands like Pedigree have low fat content in them. Some dogs would do okay on them, other dogs won't. It, it all comes down to calories. You know, the, you gotta be able to have enough to burn to stay warm and, and thrive. And if you don't have enough, that's when you start burning your, your fat stores and you end up losing weight and becoming very skinny in this kind of weather really quickly, as a matter of fact. So, I mean, we always stress people to buy the highest quality food that they can afford. And first, look at the fat content and make sure it's as high as you can get. If you can't get a really good quality dog food, add cooking grease to it. I mean, we've talked to our vets and that's the easiest way to add some calories to their dog food. So we always recommend people buy puppy food, add a little bit of grease to it, extra fat from your, your table scraps, whatever it is, to give dogs that extra calories in the wintertime. You know, like one of the reasons why Eskimos need to eat so much fat. Eskimos is probably one of the reasons why they need to eat so much fat to kind of... Sure, I mean, it's, it's just calories that you can burn. I mean, they're out and active, and you look at Eskimos. They are quite chubby because they eat so much whale and the, the fat and the blubber and it just get that extra little bit of insulation that helps you stay warm in the winter. Okay, we have some paperwork we want to do. You want to get on a jacket or go inside or what do you want to do? I don't want you to look kind of, <laughs> kind of cold out here in a t-shirt. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, there might be something else going on with that dog. There might be heartworm, you know, worms. Or... How old your son? He's Okay. Okay, so you're you're the one responsible for actually caring for the dog. So you can sign it over as your dog. Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 She has license, too. To you? She has the... Uh, Dog license? Yeah. It goes to you? It's in his and our name. Okay, that's good enough. Well, uh, it All right. All right, what's her name? Uh, lady. And she's white and brown, right? Brindle? Brindle. All right. Oh. You just had the cutest. This is why we were playing peekaboo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, pipple mix? Yeah. Yeah, every winter she gets like this. Let's so see. Inside, like, outside dog? She's outside mainly. Okay. Uh, female, she's spayed? No. How old is she? Okay. Um, housebroken? I just got a bunch of questions oh. I can fill out. No? You know, no, because um, my son had his accident in 2010. She was just a, a baby and she was in the cage and we took her outside. So. Okay. Good with kids? Yeah. Good with other dogs? Oh, yeah. Yep. Good with cats? Don't know? No. no. Not good with cats? Not good with cats. Okay. Bit anybody and broken the skin in the last 15 days? No. Okay. How long have you owned her? Two years? Well, yeah. Um, time in your possession? Two years? She hasn't been loose, run and loose, or anything like that. Nobody oh, no, else has no, had no, her? No, no, no. Okay. No, that's why I went and got her shot at the thing, because she, if I let her off the chain, she'll climb that fence. Yeah. She's that. Yep. <laughs> Sorry. No, she that's okay. It's good to know. <laughs> she can climb that gate with no problem. Yeah. She doesn't like that. Uh, yeah. I hate to say that, but... but hey, dogs got their things, I you know? know. 
I <laughs> don't know what it is because we have black friends and it's very hard. Well, you, you never know why dogs have what they have in their heads, you know what I mean? Um, this guy would walk by and he got two pits, which got a hold of my mom's dog and tore it in half. Yeah. And my mom was next to the door. Yeah. And it's... Yeah. <laughs> Any, um, where did you get the dog from? A friend, pet shop, breeder? Um, he got it from a friend. Somebody gave it to him. Um, any medical problems you know of? Broken bones, parvo, just anything that's happened, anything like that that you know about? No. Okay. Saw the animal today. When was your last see the animal today? Um, when was the last time the dog was seen by a veterinarian? A what? A vet. When was the last time the dog uh, got seen by a doctor? Okay. But you saw, you got shots, right? Yep, at the... Clark Park? No, the, uh, where you get the license at. Animal control? Yeah. Okay. Do you know when that was? Um, last year. Okay. And, okay. Um, F R I yes. I always have a hard time spelling this tree. <laughs> this is two one seven four two one seven. Just, uh, let's see, what time is it? It's about 11, it's about 12 o'clock. I just need to have you sign ownership of the animal over to the Humane Society. Okay. And then, uh, will she let you bring her out on a leash? Yeah. All right. Too much stuff in my pockets. You just, yeah, just uh, put that around her neck there, and you can just walk her out. Okay? You don't need to look at to her. No, oh, you can oh. just, yeah, just kind of slip <laughs> over. It gets easier to get on and off. <laughs> All right? All right.
Hey, buddy. Hey. Hey, buddy. How you doing, guy? There you go. go. Come on. There you go. There. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. It's okay. You okay? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on.
Uh, owner surrender. Probably going to be a weekend. See if there's a microchip in here. We have uh, found them on a few more surrender. People uh, back behind them. Thank you for watching Dog Rescue TV. You're helping dogs by watching our videos.